Hello again guys, I'm going to attempt to do something I haven't done in a long time. These are the things that I've printed in 3D this week. Now this is definitely not something I'm going to promise will be a regular occurrence. I just happened to pull the 3D printer back out because I had some other stuff I needed to work on. And when I looked at Thingiverse on the front page of the site, I saw something I absolutely had to print. There were three figurines, and if you know a little bit about me, a little about my backstory, I am massively into board games, and especially Dungeons and & Dragons and Pathfinder. And so on the front page of Thingiverse, there was a post about these sort of shapeless D&D type characters, so I printed them. I will say, unfortunately, I haven't really done any cleanup to these yet, so take this with a grain of salt. But first up, we do have the Dwarf Axeman. You can see he's kind of short. You know, you see how small he fits into my hand there. Came out very nicely though, lots of detail. I didn't do any scaling on it or anything, and it took maybe 45 minutes to an hour to print. This was printed with my M3D printer, and I think I did it just low, low, low everything. Because it is so small, it doesn't really need any infill. It's very lightweight, and it gets the job done. Second character they had out there was the Elven Archer. I like the detail in the bow. I like sort of the lack of detail in the body and face. Like I said, it's very polygonal. It's very old school animation, early 90s CGI style, as it were. So you've got your elf, and it is very clearly distinct distinctly an elf. That's the one thing I really liked about these figures is you can look at them and sort of tell. This is intended to be an elven archer. And again, haven't really done any cleanup on it, so there's some little boogers and nasties all over it that kind of need to be filed off, but just wanted to give you sort of an idea. And the last character, if you can probably guess, is a human swordsman. So he has his big old shield and his massive sword and his whole body armor, and he is very, again, very polygonal, very 90s animation style, 90s 3D CGI style. And I really just enjoyed the way that all these things turned out. I like the way that they looked. I love the fact that they didn't take a huge amount of time to print. There's been so many prints that I've attempted to do over the last few months that you'll spend five, six, seven hours on them and then something goes wrong and you completely lose everything. Whereas with this, 45 minutes to an hour apiece, after the course of a couple of days, I could have myself a little army of these guys if I wanted to have a full battle with my friends. As it stands, I made three and I am very pleased with the way they turned out. And I should probably mention, if you're curious about the filament, the filament that I used is called Hatchbox. It's PLA. Specifically, it's the silver variety. I will put a link down in the description to where you can find it. I bought it over on Amazon. It's super cheap. And I always get asked about the filament and the spool holder. So the spool holder that I used is also a Hatchbox spool holder. I purchased all of these things myself and I bought them all on Amazon. And actually the price on the spool holder I bought was $18 when I bought it. It's $12 last time I looked, maybe even cheaper. So links to both the filament as well as the spool holder will be available down in the video description. So as always, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below anything you think I might want to take a look at over on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down in the description to where you can find these specific ones though if you're interested in printing them yourself. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit the thumbs up button below this video if you like this video. Subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. We'll see you again next time.